Bam. Bam. I, be, I greet you in words of Assalamu alaikum, which means peace and blessings be upon you. I mentioned both Jesus and Muhammad's names. Peace be upon them both because they were both messages of truth and reality. You're looking at the Underground Railroad television show. We come on every Saturday night at 1030. And you know what? What we're going to do is we're going to talk about immigration in the United States of the United Snakes of America. <laughs> Man, I do want you to know that I did reach out to Latino, a Hispanic news publications to try to get guests on, but you know, in Chicago, where they didn't even have enough courtesy to call back. So you're gonna hear black perspective about immigration. So I'm gonna start with my guests. You know, this is somebody I drank coffee with, but he don't drink coffee no more. So I'm going to let y'all introduce yourself. And Mr. Grady, he was a friend of my father. And I liked it, but I'm going to let y'all go ahead. Hey, my name is Reginald Johnson. Okay, tell us something about yourself. Well, I'm currently right now, I'm Assistant Chief of Water Operations for the City of Chicago Department of Water. Uh, I'm in, I play in five bands as a bass player. Mm, good. I'm also a certified FAA drone pilot, and I specialize in aerial photography. Okay. and a few other things, but I'm not <laughs> going to mention this. You don't have enough time. <laughs> okay. However, I'm here just to, you know, voice my opinion on the immigration, uh, so-called immigration crisis in, in America. Okay. In Grady's notebook, you know what, y'all don't know Grady. Well, it's between me and Grady, but go ahead. <laughs> Dunbar, go. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Bradley. My name is Grady Davis, and uh, yes, I go back to Dunbar High School, it came out in 1961. Of course, I retired from the Postal Service in 2004. That big check. And uh, I could do a lot, a lot of talking about myself, but sitting next to this brother here from, by the name of Johnson, I mean, he's with the water department and we talk, there's lead in the water in Chicago. We could talk to him for the next two hours. He flies drones around Chicago. Oh my goodness, we could find out about the right thing. Yes, so about it. I want to hear about your show. I want to hear about your show. I could pull that into Grady's notebook. But anyway, <laughs> Grady Davis from Grady's notebook. An uh, offshoot from uh, uh, my mentor, Mr. Lou Palmer, because uh, Lou Palmer was my mentor, and I brag about that experience. And uh, of course, as Lou's notebook uh, inspired Chicago, I attempt to do what I can to let Grady's notebook inspire Chicago. And Brother Bradley, I accept your invitation to come on your show and talk about immigration. You're going to be coming on my show a lot more, as you can say. Well, yeah. <laughs> God is willing, I'll be there. I'm in shot a lot. You know, I want to ask y'all about, you know what, there's a picture back there, Central America. You know, you have immigrants that are coming from Central America. They're coming from Guatemala. They're coming from Panama. They're coming from Peru. Why? Why are they? Why, what is going on with all these countries the way they feel that they have to flee? I like that. Why? What is going on? See, the thing, the thing what I'm thinking about is all of a sudden, they've been, they've been actually coming here for years. Okay. They, you know, and... And to get there from, get through Mexico would like run the gauntlet through them. Because mm -hmm. a lot of them didn't make it through Mexico. Mm -hmm. Mexico would force their borders. Mm -hmm. And if you sneaked in there and they caught you, they will, they'll throw you under the jail. Donald Trump ain't playing now, with Now all with of it. a sudden, <laughs> but all of a sudden now with this, when this president showed up, all of a sudden they all got together. They all marched through all these countries, including Mexico, and showed up at our borders. Mm -hmm. Why? I mean, what's the reasoning behind it? Why they all of a sudden you organize and just march through? There's a conspiracy going on here. Mm. Mr. Grady, could you, what is going on in Central America, Guatemala, Peru, and Mexico? Did the way, you know what they feel like? Damn, ain't no opportunity there that like we're going to come to the United States. What is going on? Why can't they fix their own problems? <laughs> because they have military hunters that's running their country. Mm -hmm. You're talking about the cartels, right? I'm, I'm, I'm talking about those Central American countries, all of them. They have leaders that's caught up, just like the leaders here in the United States. They're trying to make as much money as they can mm -hmm. from oil, from the other natural resources. Mm -hmm. And of course, they want to stay in power as long as they possibly can. They are not interested in trying to save 
or do anything for the poor people of their country. And it's just not unique as far as Central America is concerned. We've had the same problem in Africa because we had some African leaders that was caught up in trying to make as much money as they possibly can. And they were not concerned about the little people of mm -hmm. Africa. It goes back to just about every one of the African countries, okay? Mm -hmm. But as far as Central America is concerned, that is the situation as I see it. But you know what? I'd like to ask both of y'all. If that government is so corrupt, you know, that was a revolution that took place in the United States of America when the United States separated from England. If that, if Central America, Guatemala, and Central America, and all these places are so corrupt, why don't you go up in the mountains What's and, up? Start, and start a revolution? What's up there? What's up, What's What's up, up there? in the mountains? I'm yeah. talking about to start a revolution. To, to, to bring about change because what y'all saying is voting these people out of power is not going to do no good anyway. That's what y'all appear to be saying. Why don't they want you start a revolution well, well, in those look, countries? Well look, back, well, look what happened back in the 60s when Cuba was financing a lot of these revolutions. Castro. In South, in Castro. Just right out and of there, my and hand. They were, and they had set shade down there to disrupt these um, South American countries. And look what happened to him. Mm -hmm. United States got involved since the, uh, since the CIA down there and the Green Barrettes, mm -hmm. and that's that's who really did them in the Green Barrettes because they even though he was a skilled jungle fighter, so were they, and they just chased him down and, and shot him up. Okay. Unfortunately, during that time, Castro was pushing a a, com a communist agenda. Agenda. Mm -hmm. They were thinking that communism was going to be the savior, mm -hmm. and it was not. No. But as I said. Castro sent those people down to infiltrate those countries, and uh, for the most part, it did not work. The CIA, our beloved United States of Ooh, America, you scared me. The CIA, the CIA right. got yes. involved, That's mm -hmm. right. and they were anti anything that Castro was mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so be, they did everything they could to kill Castro. Uh, do away with his resources down there in Cuba. Mm -hmm. In some case, in the majority of the cases, they were not successful. The Bay of Pigs was a joke. That's right. An absolute joke. So our country does not have, the United States of America, does not have clean hands in all of these countries as they pretend to have. Lily, we don't want to like to ask y'all that what do you know what in terms of the ramifications, the cause and effect, what is the reason that a person would take the chance to journey across all these lands to get to the United States? About the corruption property what is it, corruption, property, cartels? What is it? What is it? I don't Lack know. of opportunity. What are some of the reasons? My my reason is why all of a sudden? Okay. Why were they all all banned up like a, like a like the band of thieves and you know like they all bunch up banned up and and, and these all these countries let them march through their countries unmolested, unrestricted. Wait a minute, are they you let, saying are them, you saying Donald Trump planned this? Is that what you're saying? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey anything President is Trump. Anything is possible. <laughs> okay. Well, it, we'll get to the bottom of it but sooner I'm, or later. Somebody but, somebody's going to tell. But going back to the cause and effect. Okay, what are some of the reasons and aspects that they're doing this? Uh, do the cartels run rough shot over these countries so bad the way they just got to get the hell out of there? For the most part. Yeah. And what I do the cartel do. and all them do down there to cause all this? What do they do? Right. They, don't, they don't feed the people. They steal the resources, mm -hmm. okay? They kill all of the hope that the people may have as far as a decent living is concerned, mm -hmm. okay? The cartels is just like the CIA. The cartels are just like the military folks. You see CIA, they you scared yeah. me, brother. They <laughs> want to control and they want to stay in mm -hmm. power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's like, well, like he said, they want, like he said, they want to stay in power. But the thing, the thing with me, though, like I said, they, they want to stay in power. Look at the cartels. Look at all the money they the have. The drug cartel. Drug cartel. Mm -hmm. They got more weapons. And, and, and they were, were to go, if you want to go against them now and fight them on their own terms, you have to send the army. Mm -hmm. They got the latest equipment. They got helicopters. Look what that El Chapo. Mm -hmm. He was in a Mexican jail. Now, how do you, how do you, dig, how do you dig a tunnel under a jail right on his cell? And sneak him out in the middle of the night. Which you should, should they let El Chapo go, man? If he if he say I'm a fund the wall, should they let him go? 
Captain Speed. Of, of course not. But <laughs> Dr. Speed. Brother Johnson, Stock uh, yeah. along with that tunnel mm. that they built, mm -hmm. yeah. it had electricity. You know, and, and a rail uh, system. It had electricity. Mm -hmm. and, a rail, and a rail. So think about the resources that they have. If the United States government was really concerned about doing something about drugs coming into this country, where would they go? South America. They could wipe out each and every cartel in South America if they wanted to. Yeah. So if you're saying what you what what you, both of you appear to be saying is that the CIA is involved in this, just like they put crack in the community in LA. They introduce crack in the community. The CIA is starting up a proxy wars that are going on in these countries to cause disruption. Is that what y'all saying? And I'm a misunderstanding. Just like they put syphilis in with the soldiers at the Tuskegee Institute. This Tuskegee air ex experiment. U.S. citizens, okay. by the way, they supposed to be U.S. citizens, and they sat around there and look what they did. Gave them syphilis. <laughs> three hundred, over three hundred men, around, went around infected the women, mm -hmm. children had it, mm -hmm. and then the sat and let them die like a do bunch of dogs. Y'all, who, who does that? Yeah. But, but we're a Christian nation, though. But we want to talk about immigration. <laughs> yeah, we think we're getting from, off track. We, we come from a nation. This country cannot be trusted. This country has talked out of both sides of its mouth for generations, for generations. It just mm -hmm. so happens that during this time period, mm -hmm. we have a Klansman in the White House that's talking about doing something. Are you saying Donald Trump is in the Ku Klux Klan? The Klansman okay. in the White House okay. is talking about keeping Mexicans out of America. Okay. Well, he, he did say those people down in the people those uh, white nationals down there were good people. Yeah, absolutely. But absolutely. Yeah, good for who though? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask both of y'all something. You talk about this all, all the time. Why is it wrong to build a fence to keep people out of the country? Okay, there are people that put gates around their homes. You know it, and I know it. Yeah. There are people that put alarms around their houses to keep the people out that they don't want in. That's Why is true. it wrong? Somebody can get through that gate. Do you, yeah. Somebody can get through that gate. Somebody can bypass that burglar alarm. But you know what? But people still do it. Is that wrong? Um, mm -hmm. I, ask, I would ask this question. Mm -hmm. Will the fence, will the gate work? Let me go back to the original question. I said no. there are people that put fences around their house. You know it. Oh, both of y'all know it. There are people that put burglar alarms around their home. Are they wrong for doing that? I'm using that as an example well, to try to draw something. Is that wrong? I think it's better resources is, is to try to make lives better for people where they came from so rather, put a, than rather put up a wall. Let me ask you the question. Now, I'm, now I'm gonna tell you something. I'm an engineer by a profession, so I don't think I don't think like most of you. To me, just to see a wall there is just a is just a just a, it's just a, a, a problem needs a solution to it. Mm -hmm. Now you can go over the wall, you can go under the wall, and they bring a, they bring in a lot of dope. They bring a lot of dope in here. It doesn't come over the wall. It doesn't come by the mules. It comes in those big shipping containers. Let me rephrase. The they question. just call. They just get, wait a minute. They just call. They just they just uh, call uh, call a uh, ship over in Philadelphia, owned by moving by some major bank and conglomerate that had almost a half a billion dollars of dope in it. Let me rephrase the question. Okay, let me put it on a very small, mm -hmm. small, minute level. Yeah. Are people wrong to put iron gates around their homes and people that put burglar alarms in their homes? Like, are they wrong? No, no, they're, they're not, not wrong. wrong. This is what I'm trying to bring it is to a small level. Okay, so how can you say? That it's wrong to put a wall up, but you just said that it's okay to have a gate around your house and it's okay to have a burglar alarm. Now, that doesn't make any sense to me, what no. y'all saying. No, <laughs> it just gives you a false sense of security. Okay, but you, you, you just said it wasn't wrong, though. It is, it's, oh, not no, wrong. it's not wrong. It's not, it's not wrong. wrong. You, can pull a, you can pull a wall down the eastern United States, I mean, the western United States, all, I mean, uh, the southern border, all you, from, uh, all you want. And all they're going to do is either you go over it or a tunnel through it, and you, and look at look at say, say for instance like San Diego, San Diego and what's that what's that station that's, now? That's, that's, they got a that's what's the Mexican what's the right across the Mexican border? What's that town there? Oh, that's Tijuana. Tijuana. You know they sell the common sewer. 
you can actually go down the sewer. They actually got they got they got arrows down there showing you which way is Mexico, which way is the United States. But you know what? Both of y'all. No you iron gates. You know what? Both of y'all. You know what? Both of y'all appear to be contradicting yourselves because no. you said that it is okay to put a. A, a iron gate around your home, yeah. and it's okay to put a burglar alarm there, but it's wrong to put a wall up. Yeah. Both of y'all, uh, it, it's not really. <laughs> but, yeah. I put it on a small level. What yeah. you put in your wall is at the border to, yeah. keep, to keep the Mexicans out, mm -hmm. based on what, based on what the Klansman has brought into your mentality. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's wrong and a waste of time. And money. Well, go back to your other theory about putting that fence around your house. Yeah. You can put that fence around your house and you can have all the false security you want. But, but if somebody knows that you got something in there that they want, they gonna get in there. But, but you know what? They that, are going you know to what, get in there. You know what, damn it, but we got a gate around our place. Even damn it, even if they give us a false sense of security, yeah, we got burglar you. alarm. Somebody can do it, but you know what? It will minimize. It will make somebody say, you know what? Because they got a gate around their complex. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to go to an easier target. Y'all know it. I, I know it. I understand. That's perfect. Okay. That's perfect. That's human nature. No, nature right there. Not, I'm, why, know, why work for it? Okay. We're just, we're just, now, like like a car thief told me once, say I went I went try to steal your car. I can get it, but it's too much work. Now this guy drive down the street, got the same car with no alarm on. Which car you think I'm gonna do? Even like those old club locks on your steering wheel. Yeah. He said I can defeat I can defeat most of them in 15 seconds. Damn it, make America great again. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm, well, just, I'm, just I'm just kidding. <laughs> But, but, but that you know, make America great it's again. Just, it's just, <laughs> you know, even the, even the Bible, Bible I'm tells just you. Kidding, though. Yeah, I want to tell you. Even the Bible tells you to watch and pray. I don't. I don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe in nothing but salvation. You know, okay. I put. I put. A, I got.